Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about setting up Pinball FX3 on a PC connected to our At Games Legends Pinball. We'll go through the entire process from beginning to end, and yes, we'll even... Oh, this is fun, huh? Thank you, Stewie. Play some games. Let's get started. I briefly want to mention if you go to wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ALP FX3, it'll take you to the Pinball FX3 guide. This guide will step you through the installation process, such as the very first one here requesting a cabinet code. We'll click here, and the first thing you want to do is go down here and fill out the information, enter your name, your email address, whether or not you're a hobbyist, and how you want to use the pinball cabinet features. So after you do all that, click the little check mark here and click send and then keep an eye on your email. You will have to send Zen a picture of your At Games Legends pinball machine itself before you can receive your code. Before powering on my PC, I went ahead and made a copy of this NVMe 250 gigabyte SSD. To do that, I went ahead and used this adapter. It's an NVMe adapter. Popped the drive in and went into Win32 Disk Imager and gave the file a name and made an image backup of my SSD. This is of course an optional step, but I'd like to make sure I can re-image the machine back to the factory settings. Once the backup was complete, I then took the NVMe SSD M.2 drive and popped it right back into the PC and powered it on for the very first time. Once booted, I went through the typical Windows setup and update process. Now, let's set up Pinball FX3. Now it's time to install Steam, so we'll go to the store.steampowered.com and click the green Install Steam button. Next, we'll click the blue Install Steam button to install the Steam Client software. Then we'll click the Open and Launch the installer. From here, we'll click Next and select our language and hit Next. You can change the default installation folder if you wish, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it with the defaults and just click the install button. Then click finish to launch the Steam client. After the installation process has completed, you'll be prompted to create a new account or log into an existing account. I already have an account, so I'll go ahead and select that option. Enter your account name and password, then click the login button. At this point, you'll see the Steam Guard settings dialog indicating you're logging in from a new computer. Check your email and enter the code that they sent you here. Once done, simply click the Next button. And after you see Success, go ahead and click the Finish button. The Steam Client has been installed at this point, but not Pinball FX3. To do that, click the Store tab at the top. Since I've already installed it on a different computer, I'm just going to click the Install button here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the defaults as they are, and click Next. I've already read the license agreement, so I'll just go ahead and click I agree. And then we'll go ahead and click the checkbox here. And go ahead and click the finish button to install Pinball FX3. Now this process will take a few minutes, especially if you have a lot of tables to download. And once it's done, Pinball FX3 will go ahead and start up. At this point, I'm simply using the keyboard on my computer. I am not connected to the At Games Legends Pinball at this point. All of the tables you see here I've already purchased. However, if you haven't, simply select the particular table or volume of tables and go ahead and order it from here. Be on the lookout for sales. Sometimes you'll find some good ones. I'm going to use the left and right keyboard shift keys in order to operate the flippers. And one of the first things you'll see is this, sticky keys. Click the link there, then uncheck the allow shortcut key to start sticky keys and uncheck the allow the shortcut key to start toggle keys. And now you won't get that annoying dialogue. And you can go back to your game and go ahead and resume. And as you can see, there's no more sticky keys dialogue popping up to interfere with our game. Now I'll hit the escape key and enter and just continuously repeat that until we exit out of the game. And once we exit Pinball FX3, we can go ahead and shut down the computer and move over to the At Games Legends Pinball and hook everything up. Yeah. 
While not required to play Pinball FX3 on your Act Games Legends Pinball, the Vibs board, or Video Input Back Glass Switchboard, will allow you to utilize the back glass on the Act Games Legends Pinball with your Windows 10 PC. This is a board that you can purchase directly from At Games, and I understand that some people aren't going to be comfortable doing this type of modification, especially when it comes to drilling a hole in the bottom of your At Games Legends pinball, which will void the warranty. And drilling a hole isn't exactly required either. You could set it up under the pinball machine and use some double-sided tape or other adhesive in order to secure it. But I'm going to go ahead and install the button here and go ahead and check it out. Seems to work fine. And I fed the HDMI cable from the Vibs board down into the main unit. And I put some electrical tape around it. And I did drill a hole in the back as well while I was at it in order to keep this cable secure and keep it from being tugged on and pulled out of the Vibs board. I also could have used a cable tie or something along those lines, but electrical tape seemed to work just fine. If you wind up getting a Vibs board, I highly recommend that you check out the official video from At Games on the Video Input Backglass Switchboard. Hello, welcome to the Video Input Backglass Switchboard video. Here we're going to take a look at a new product that allows you to change the video feed for the backglass in your At Games Legends Pinball. This video covers both types of production units, the early and later production, as well as the HDMI and OTG connections to the PC. And as you can see here, it's very easy to switch the video signal to the PC by simply pressing a button. Now I'm briefly going to show you what my setup looks like. I have the main HDMI coming from the PC directly to the ALP playfield an Ethernet cable here, and a single USB cable going to a powered USB hub. I could have used the DV port with an adapter, but instead connected this dual HDMI to USB 3.0 adapter to the VIBS board. I also have a powered USB hub, which is connected, of course, to the PC, and the connection for the OTG is plugged into the USB hub. The ALP, PC, and power for the hub is plugged into this UPS which protects all of these devices from a power surge. On the top, we have the HDMI cable going to the PC, that's the main play field connection, and the OTG connection to the powered USB hub. Now we'll move on to configuring the remaining software components. Now you want to press the channel button on the top of the Legends pinball, then set the mode to OTG, Display to Main Display in Degree 90. Once you've received your cabinet code from Zen Studios, you want to click this small pinball machine icon, enter your cabinet code, click Activate, and go ahead and exit out of FX3. Joy to Key enables PC game controllers, such as the OTG connection on the ALP, to emulate keyboard and mouse inputs. After clicking the download link, go ahead and launch the installer to install Joy to Key. Simply follow the prompts, hit Next, for this next step, make sure Joy to Key is closed, and we'll go to the page shown below and download this legends pb-wtt.zip. Basically, it handles all the mapping of the buttons to your legends pinball. This mapping file was actually created by Joe F, which even lets you use the plunger to launch the ball. Anyway, let's go ahead and extract the file, right-click and copy it to the clipboard, and then we'll switch over to the documents Joy to Key subfolder and paste it into this directory. Now, when you launch Joy to Key, all the button mappings to your Legends Pinball will already be taken care of for you. No hassle, nothing. Just go ahead and minimize it, leave it running. You may also want to launch Joy to Key on boot up. I've got that information on the guide page as well. Now, we'll go ahead and set up both monitors. To do that, right click on the desktop and go to Display Settings. And what you should see here is we want display number one to be the main play field. So you want to move it around to where display one is on the far left and display number two is going to be your vibs or your back glass screen. Again, double check everything is perfectly lined up here. Otherwise, you may have some issues later with things not looking right. Scroll on down and you'll see scale and layout. And what we want to do here is make sure it's set to 100%. Windows may try and set it to 150%, but regardless, change it to 100%. For the display resolution, it needs to be 1920 by 1080. 
and you want the display orientation to be landscape and multiple displays set to extend these displays. Do the same for display number two, your back glass. So it should be scaled and set for 100%. The display resolution here is hard set at 1920 by 1080. And again, you want to make sure it's set for landscape and extend these displays. It's also a good idea to add some back glass artwork. So when you switch from game to game, the back glass will reflect the game that you have selected. There are a few links from Zen and community created artwork that you can install. To do that, simply copy the image files to the directory that you see here, which is all in the guide, so be sure and check that out. I'll go ahead and scale it up here so you can see a few of the images. Next, let's configure the settings for Pinball FX3. To do that, click the little icon up here, and that should take you to the cabinet settings. You can also get to them through the options menu. Set the orientation to 270 degrees, the dot matrix repositioning to on, dot matrix horizontal position at 2245, dot matrix vertical position 720, horizontal size 1270, dot matrix vertical size 340, back glass repositioning to on, back glass horizontal position at 1921, back glass vertical position set to zero, and the back glass horizontal size to 1920, and the back glass vertical size at 1080. Now that all the configuration is done, let's play some Pinball FX3! In this segment, the left table view and the top back glass are being streamed. The lower right shows what the table looks like directly on the Games Legends Pinball. Let's check it out! Jurassic Park. Land the ball in the nest. No drivers, so they're electric. Totally non polluting, top of the line. This shall be the most excruciating of all the worlds I shall cleanse. Aw, uh, there's no special treatment necessary for little old us, Ronan. Hey guys, he likes us. He really likes us. I am. This is fun, huh? Well, then this has been an absolute misfire. All right, I knew this was coming. Everybody give me your best shot. imagine hell being much worse. You see, while we were in the future, Pip got the sports book, stole the time machine, went back in time and gave the book to himself at some point in the past. The whole thing is my fault. If I hadn't bought that damn book, none of this would have ever happened. There is a lot more information on the Pinball FX3 guide that may be of interest to you, such as hiding the backlash taskbar, 
keeping your PC available, such as going into the power options and setting everything to never, using TeamViewer to remote connect to your At Games Legends pinball machine from another computer, which is pretty handy, especially if you're making a YouTube video. <laughs> There's also a quick setup guide which references detailed information where needed. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're able to get Pinball FX3 up and running on your PC. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk in the future, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.